Zeit. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Ruben Schneider's back, baby! He's back. He had a little drop-off. Woo! But he's first in the room. Today he is first in the room. First in the room. We praise and we tear down sometimes. Today we are praising you, Ruben. Way to get back on top, okay? It was like a Steph Curry move yeah. out of him. Yeah. In a couple bad years, shook it off. He's a champion today. You're a young champion today. To be fair, when he was like not doing well, he was third in the room. But yeah. I know our standards are I, very high. He's super just, high. Yeah, I, don't, yeah, yeah. I don't get any. Yeah. I don't get anything for third place, uh, yeah. and all the stuff that I do. Yeah. Never. I throw those trophies in the garbage can. Right. Third, I didn't even put second place. You ever seen a second place trophy around me? No. How long have we known each other now? Over ten years. Yeah. Yeah. Feels We're like, heading on 11. Yeah. Feels like a lifetime, doesn't it? Feels like a lot longer. <laughs> Wait, what's the good one? Feels like it feels like less. Few, feels like flew you've by. never met before. Flew by. Every time I see you, it's like the, uh, the first date. Yeah. Yeah. A kiss butterflies. from a rose. Still get butterflies. I still sing seal. <laughs> Whenever I see you, I do. You do. I repeatedly ask you not to do that. Yeah, still, well, I will. You still do it. Wait till I get the scars in my face. Yeah, I'm going to go full oh. seal one day for you <laughs> and just mm, burn my shit. That's, uh, we, we had a pledge who had scars on his face. Really? Big, getting, was he a big seal fan? Well, no, we made him a uh, seal, actually. So he, was, he had been bitten by a dog <laughs> as a child. And whenever you pressed his pledge pin, he, pledge pin, he had to sing, uh, I was bit on the face by a dog. No oh. fucking God. way. That's great. Got it. That was a fraternity? Yeah. yeah. He went on to be That's president. Great. So he did, he did fine. Gosh, Joe Biden? Gosh, you guys. Joe Biden was in your fraternity? <laughs> Gosh, you guys. Man, that's amazing. Fraternities, huh? Yeah. I, I will say this. It helps. Are we so. all? It helps. If you got bit by a fucking dog as a child, having a bunch of buddies kind of joke about it actually gets you out of it. Oh, for sure. Yeah. No, for, for it's, sure. It's dark at first. It was not, he wasn't as bad as Seal. Like, it was, okay. It, okay. it was just us fucking with them. All right. But he, Are they were Giorgio there. and I the only ones who, who have what? not fratted out? Eh. Giorgio was in wrestling, though. That's, that's kind of a fraternity. Look they do, they do some sick shit. Yeah, but in college, that's a different story, mm-hmm. you know? Could have been. Could have been. You, you, you didn't play up to your potential, James. I wasn't fat or lesbian enough. <laughs> I was just a little bit of both. Do you know what yeah, I mean? But not are. fully You're neither. either one. You're neither. You've never made out with another woman? No. No. So you can't. I have no. You can't lie to the audience like that. I have no desire. I. Dig deep. Have no desire. Okay. All right. Whatever, man. Uh, you are who you are. I'm not going to change you today. All right. Just like Kesha. You are who you are. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. And I want to thank you guys at home. Um, we are now in close to 50 stores in Tennessee for Hard AF Seltzer. Uh, Bob, if you could show that. So we have a store locator on hardafseltzer.com. Uh, it is in all your favorites. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. So you want me to go from east to west here or just roll down the Go list? to Knoxville because we talked about Knoxville the other day. And you guys, um, if you want to go to Hard AF Seltzer, you can find this. This is a feature on the website yes. because we are super professional. We are. So if you we don't are. catch it here, just go right to the site. Okay. Now blow Ooh. that up. Blow that up. What are those two? Is that oh, real? Oh, boy. That is real. Uh, uh, I'm, if you have to watch the show, it is a massive. It's probably the biggest booze site in all of uh, Tennessee. This is in Knoxville. Okay, you guys were asking for it near the UT campus, one one three seven zero Parkside Drive, Knoxville, Tennessee. It's totally awesome. It's totally awesome. But just go and look at it for yourself. If we basically, if we do well there, mm-hmm. uh, that goes out across the nation to total 
uh, stores everywhere. Total places. To- all the to total, total stuff. Of a lot of places. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yep. So please do that. It would mean the world to us. Just roll through Knoxville, Tennessee, uh, and go get totally awesome in there. And let, mm-hmm. let today. me let me just show you something here. You see the red dot. Yep. You see that. Yep. Right, right here. Yep. That's the one by campus, kind of. Uh, okay. And now you see this little blue line below it. Okay. Yeah. Now, what I need you to do is we need you to buy the hard AF at mm-hmm. this red dot and then get on one of the Vol Navy boats yes. when football season starts. Look at that. Oh. And uh, drink as much of those hard AFs as you can until you cause a Titanic-esque situation. I like, oh, I boy. like that cursor being like the boat. I going, do, too. Or the I do, float. too. Pull up Tennessee Vol's schedule, Bob. Let's see who they got this fall. Because uh, they're asking us to make a stop up there. Uh, we will actually be there at the end of September for Rob O'Neill's charity events. We do that every single year. Yeah. Uh, his golf tournament. So maybe we can pop over for the day over there and uh, really uh, make some waves with the people. When's, well, what we like we to do is, is bang, bang it. Uh, it's, the tournament? it. It's the last week of September. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, boy. What do we got? Uh, well, you would, I believe, have potentially, if it's this this one, Florida at Tennessee, September twenty fourth. Oh. oh, is it is it that one? <laughs> oh boy, if it's that one, it's on. Holy, sh- it's got to be. It's got to be. Well, September thirty first. What, what's the uh, what's the, next... the start time for that game? Is not, it Saturday night? TB. It's TBD. <sighs> Saturday. Night. Not gonna know till a week before. <laughs> How far is Knoxville from Nashville? That's another. Question. Not that far. I don't know that I've – actually, you and I made that drive together. From? Knoxville to Nashville. We were doing book signings. Um, I don't know how far that is, actually. I forget. Mm, I'm going to say two and a half. Yeah, I wouldn't – I don't drive more than three. Yeah, so yeah, you don't do that. it must have been a two. You don't do that. Two and a half. Yeah. Otherwise, we're flying like a Kylie Jenner. Sure, 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 sure. Because we got the PJ. We got the private jet now. So She I'm took kidding. a 17-minute flight. Did she really? Yes, that's why they're calling her a climate criminal. <laughs> but by the way... Where was it? Where was the flight to? Lord knows what's from L.A., what's 17 minutes away. Where did she want to go? Oh, Palm Manhattan Beach. Right? Like, yeah. No, Palm Springs is, is uh, it's an hour and a half away. I, on a PJ? She, she probably went to the Palisades. Are you sure it would be on a PJ from L.A. to Palm Springs? Uh, it's not Yeah, It's not 17 minutes. That's an hour. That's an, yeah. It's an hour flight? Yeah. 40, 30. Dude, to San Francisco, it's 45 minute flight. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. It depends on where the the runway. I guess she was going out of Santa Monica. Who knows? Who fucking knows? Well, she was going out of probably Burbank or because she lives in Calabasas, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what's over there? She might have just gone from Burbank to Santa Monica. <laughs> what if sometimes <laughs> I mean honestly, that it might have been just like the the beach. Here's my theory. Yeah. Now does she have a kid? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes, you know, you have to, like, put your kid in the car and drive him around to get him to sleep. Ah, Ooh, there we go. That's it. You put him in the jet. There we go. Yeah, you put- Kids sleep better on private jets. Everybody knows that. Yeah. She didn't have her kid with her. Oh, mm. well. Maybe it was for her. Uh, Sorry. Way to ruin no, it, Bob- Jesse. No, well, I just want to. Snitch. No, I just want to, you know, she is a climate criminal. Yeah. If she had her kid, then I get it. You're not going to sit on the 405 with a kid in the back. By the way, they will not do it. Yeah, I get it. I get so, it. but if it's just her and and the dingling boys, yeah, Travis, uh, who knows? Who fucking knows? Uh, how far is that drive from Knoxville to Nashville? What do we got there? Look at it. It should be about two hours. If it is, we're going. That'd be great. Uh, and we'll just hand them out there. Are you in, Jabes? Because you and I have a trip before that. Hmm. Two forty-four. Also, oh, that's you, it. If you can't, shit, make, we're if, going, dude. If you can't make that one, yeah, there is. Uh, you could catch Alabama for the second time. Because they will be visiting Knoxville on when? October 15th. No, I'm not going back. Um, I, we bang, bang it. So if we're there, we'll try to bang, bang it with another event. Like, I'll definitely bang, bang that. That's a blast. When's uh, our Columbus? We did it last year with uh, – who do we bang, bang last year? Vanderbilt was our bang, bang on that one. Mm. We went to University of Van- Vanderbilt. Delco, you went there, actually. I think it was Georgia. It was 58 to, like, zero in the second quarter. Delco was yeah, there. I drove with Lopez. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had a little 13-hour uh, <laughs> truck ride. Me and You're Marcus welcome. Yeah. And Lopez. I heard it was a blast. I heard it was fun. It was actually was fun, yeah. yeah. I'd never really speaking to Lopez before that. He's the best. He's a sweetheart. He's like the nicest dude of all time, too. Uh, for real. Uh, but, yes, I'll bang, bang that. Uh, I don't – Florida's going to be terrible this year, too. So, the Vols might have a shot. When's our Columbus trip? 
that is the uh, September 3rd. So if you're at Ohio State Notre Dame, you can come and party with Jables and I. Mm-hmm. Uh, we will be there for Ohio State Notre Dame. Uh, we will be at uh, Alabama versus Texas the weekend after that. Uh, we might do something, a little pregame here at the studio before going down there. Now that we're so close to downtown, right. uh, it's a quick jaunt now for us. So uh, maybe have some barbecue and shit over here. Bring over the Traeger or something like that. That'd be fun. We were much closer. Uh, what's that? We, we, we used to be we much closer. We were much closer. No, 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 for you guys. And that's fine. Uh, talking about the big guy driving down. I'm driving from Trippin' Springs, baby. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, so it's a little closer from me. But, Should yeah. we take my Traeger just here and then all get a new one for the house? That's fine. That if you want to do that, yeah. Uh, can you guys smoke back there? Delco, what's your smoking abilities like? It's a Traeger. It smokes itself. Well, that's not true. Oh, okay. All men are created uh, unequal, in my opinion, smoking-wise. You've outsmoked most of the, the men, to be honest with you. I have. And there's a couple that you were up against in one of these competitions that I thought you destroyed. And you guys were using the same Traeger? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how's your how's your Traeger abilities, Delco? Never used one. Okay. Giorgio? No. You want the mic? No, he's never used one. That's, you can, no, he's never used one. I have 15 years something. experience in barbecue pulled pork from North Carolina. Barbacoa? Where we've done What'd you smoke eight on? shoulders at a time. What'd you smoke on? What? Is that real? Custom built. Smoking. Custom built, so no real wood. Shit. Yeah. Right. No okay, wood. so he's actually. Yeah. Yes. All right. A little bit more of a smoker. Did you own it? Did your parents own that? We still have it sitting in North Carolina. No shit. Fuck you. The trailer hitch. Could pull it out here for me. God damn, that's dope. I think you could do like three to four whole pigs at a time. All right. That's Jesse's dream, by the way, is to do a pig. Does your mommy and daddy do it? Or do you do it? Well, my dad starts it and then around, you know, drink seven or eight. Oh, and then you take over. Okay. And then he wakes up angry. Yep. Why I touched it. But we can talk about all of this on Now That's What I Call Trauma 5. Giorgio <laughs> and I's Now new That's What show. I Call Trauma 5. <laughs> That'd be fun. That'd be really fun. Uh, but thanks for, for uh, buying the Hard AF Seltzer. Thanks for buying it online. All of that helps us get into states and everything else. And uh, just signed a contract for another state today, so another one will fall very, very soon. In the meantime, Ben Affleck, my boy. Oh, wrong finger. There it is. <laughs> right there. <laughs> <laughs> Got married to J-Lo. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I hate to say this. Please. I do. Because I love Affleck. Mm. I also love partying Affleck. Mm. Everybody knows that. Mm. Everybody knows my love for Ben. He looks weird. Like so- something is wrong with his face, and I'm not sure what it is. He always looks kind of bright reddish for some reason and mm. uh, kind of sunburned it's, or he's drinking. He's drinking. Is he? He's just drunk. That's like the, that's like the that... most like old school trope for a drunk, like bright red nose. Yes. Yeah. Do you think drinking or some kind of pill? Because. Well, column A, column B. Right. Yeah. Drinking yeah. Affleck, he outs himself immediately. As soon as he opens his mouth, you know he's wasted. If it's a pill, which he was doing some kind of upper for a while. Uh-huh. He was doing interviews or a press junket for something after being sober. I get it. And was probably very hyped up. Adderall. Probably Adderall, right? Sure. Which, and that's, look, it's fine. Some no, it's totally Adderall's fine. fine. There was a, a story yesterday um, where Rogan was talking about Trump doing a bunch of Adderall in the White House and was like, yeah, I'm, I'm sure every president has to. Yes. I'm sure Biden's getting B12 shots in his ass every day. I know JFK was. I would say JFK was 100% yeah. fucking every drugs. single yeah. day. That's the only way to do that job. And like having been there with all those fucking people coming in all goddamn day to meet you, like you don't, you almost don't have a choice. Uh, I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. Every, every president should probably be as skinny as Barack Obama. Like, because it's just endless. I don't even know how you have time to fucking eat, to be honest with you. You don't. He just smoked and did fucking yeah, Adderall, yeah. probably. Yeah, I get it, and I fucking get it. But with uh, with Adderall, I think that would have been fine for him, but this looks like something different. Uh, and if you're saying he's boozing, that makes sense, because that was my first thought. Mm. The only thing that I couldn't figure out is, would she put up with that if he was boozing and doing drugs? Um, She was before. So, you know, it's like anything. Like, if you decided to be sober... Uh-huh. Like, this wouldn't work. Do you know what I mean? Like, it works because it, it works, right? Mm-hmm. 
she's sober. It's fine. But when they were first together, he was a crazy person. Right. That's right, how right. she knew him. That's how she fell in love with him. All of this, right? Their experiences. They go out. He drinks a little bit. He probably, like, is so much, like more into her and like talkative or whatever. Right. <laughs> so I don't know if she wants him sober, to be honest. Like, I don't know if sober Maybe Ben not. is what she's in for. Like, and also just sober, just sober Ben. Mm, like, mm, her. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. Cause don't know. sober Ben, I mean, totally sober Ben yeah. is probably a depressed, quiet. Sure. He needs his and mom I wife mean, back. Yes. Yeah. Sober Ben needs his mom wife, which is Garner. Right. Garner. And, and yeah. she, exactly. Yeah. He, she needs him to just slather a hundred SPF on him and send him out. Well, I know her mom likes to booze and, and gamble. Uh, so maybe it's one of those things where it just all fit for her. And she's like, hey, dude, can I still go to sleep at eight? And then you can go out and party with my mom and fucking do drugs and drink. If I had to choose between... Being with a totally fucking wasted person uh-huh. and a completely sober, awkward person. I'm choosing, whether I'm drinking or not, right. I'm choosing the wasted person. <laughs> 100% all the time. Yeah. yeah. At least it's something, right? It is. It is. Because yeah, it's, it's hard to find common ground with somebody who's super sober and takes it very seriously. Uh, you're just like, oh, okay, cool. E- We're doing stuff, huh? Right. Are we going canoeing? Are we going for a like a paddleboard thing? What do we? How do you? I spend think the she time? maybe we're gonna go super deep on this. I think she maybe is a little bit insecure. And what's better? What makes you feel better about yourself? Being with someone that's a little trashy, dunking, drinking, smoking, mm-hmm. jerking, working. Whoa, well, who's he jerking? McGurkin. Okay. No, but <clears throat> I think it makes her feel better about herself. Maybe. Because she's super sober. She's working out. Mm -hmm. She's amazing. He tells her she's amazing all the time. He's wasted. She's like, oh, Ben, I'm so much better than you. Do you know what I mean? It would make sense. I mean, if you look at her history over who she's really been in love with in her life, it's probably two people. uh, Just two. And I know she's been married four different times. Uh, So I would say it was probably Puff Daddy and Ben Affleck. Those are probably the only two people she loved, but they also fucking party. Yeah. And uh, they can big dick a room. They got huge personalities and they're I think fun. her mom was like that. So if we're going to talk about now, that's what I call trauma. Yeah. I think she is more comfortable with someone because her mom has always partied. Yeah. Which and she been said in her documentary and, sure. and just like would drink all the time, neglected yeah. or whatever. So I think she feels just a little bit more comfortable with people that are chaotic in that way. Yeah, because I actually knew uh, one of her husbands, Chris Judd, right? Um, nicest guy in the world. He is a je- He's probably a male Jennifer Garner. Okay. Unbelievably nice. And, and had no problem, by the way, standing off to the side, holding the purse. He did all of the things, and he did all of it right. But in real life, he was just a very polite, boring guy, and completely unassuming. And it, it takes somebody to... I played a whole softball game with him. And somebody was like, hey, do you know who that is, by the way? I was like, no. And they were like, do you remember Jennifer Lopez's ex-husband? I was like, no fucking way. You wouldn't, it, the guy blends in with the fucking wall over here. Um, but he's super nice. I really want to point that out. He's a very nice human being. Yeah, but that's so just I'm, not exciting enough, right? So then right. you switch on over to A-Rod. Right. Same fucking deal. Like, just a fucking dumb, dumb, nice guy. Dorky... But Dancing, again, it made nice her guy. again, it made her feel good about herself and he was all in. So he was super dorky. She looked like a fucking badass next to him. <laughs> He's going to all the shows like <laughs> dancing, yeah, yeah. right? Doing all the things, like yeah. doing whatever she told. The only thing he did to fuck that up was just get super messy. I don't think she really cared if he was talking to other people or whatever, but it just came out and it got messy and it came out in the stupidest way. Yeah. And she was like uh uh-uh. uh. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with this. Right. Because uh, even the interview that he did the other night was like, she's the most talented, beautiful, most amazing entertainer, the best singer in the world. And I was like, whoa. Well, whoa. now we're when getting. When you say best singer in the world, now you, you we're attach getting that crazy. to, to yeah. J Lo, we're getting fucking crazy here. Right. Okay. Right, 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 right. So. Oh, he was drunk. I, 
I don't no. think he. I don't think he rages like that. You exaggerate. Yeah. 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 I don't think he gets Does down A-Rod like that. Does A Rod drink like that? No. Oh, I thought you were talking about Affleck. No, 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 no. no, no. no A Rod is A-Rod. a robot. So A Rod was drinking still still fucking robot. He's just Uncle Corny, Gooby Goob. Yeah. In the body of someone that should be fucking badass, like right. when he it, before he would say words yep. when he was just playing yeah. and not saying words into a microphone. Yeah, you were like, oh my god, that guy's fucking amazing who's super hot madonna's sending down notes and then yeah, yeah. she talks to him for five minutes and is like i'm if you would have put good, the personality match. of antonio brown in that guy's mind then great we got something to work with here but you know we don't uh, and he's a fucking snooze fest the other one mark anthony i think that whole marriage was when all the people accused her of not being uh, latin enough Mm. Uh, and then it was like, all right, well, fuck you guys. I'll marry the biggest Latin singer there is, and then we can do the things and, and everything else. The problem with that guy is, in real life, he fucking chain smokes like four packs of cigarettes a day. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, I, same thing. I heard he just he does some rippers here and there, you know? Oh, 100%. Just but to they, keep it up. But, but just in like a, a Latin way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, yeah. not in any like serious yeah. way. Yeah. Just a normal Latin but there was a video shoot yeah. where uh, uh, he was on with a buddy of mine, and they were like, man, the amount of cigarettes in that guy's fucking trailer was mind-altering. I can't believe she doesn't mind the cigarettes? smell. of cause Well, she clearly doesn't because Affleck still smokes. Exactly. Like, I don't even understand how that works. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, but, they're, they are, that- but they are married. Uh, they got a... It was kind of one of those stitches where they, they got married in a courthouse and then they're, they're going to have some lavish party. Mm-hmm. It's somewhere where they were at 20 years ago. So it's the little wedding. Cha- it's in Vegas. So it's the little wedding chapel. Uh, for now. But uh, where they're going oh, is oh, some oh. lavish fucking mm-hmm. friends and family thing where, you know, how you when you get the. Yeah. You get the marriage license and then you do the wedding the somewhere reception, else. Yeah. 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 Um, can you pull up that uh Wedding certificate? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, go on. Okay, and it has his full name on there? What is his full name? Benjamin Giza? Uh, like Geza. Geza? Geza? How, what, how, can you spell that out for me? G-E-Z-A. Oh, Giza? Benjamin Giza. What's the, what's the significance with Giza? I don't Giza? know. I've never heard it before. Has anyone ever heard his middle name? No. The veil is lifting. I didn't, I didn't even know he had one. You know why I think you think he looks weird now? I think the veil is lifting and you're coming over to my side. We're like, was he ever cool? Who, Ben? All right. Yeah. So Come on, man. I did find a quick translation. All right. So Giza is a boy's name, a Hungarian boy's name, mm-hmm. meaning little prince. Oh, Gosh. fuck you. Gosh. That's and the bold. back tattoo. What? That, and the oh, back tattoo? Oh, shit. I forgot about like, the back why tattoo. Why are we still thinking this first? <sighs> little maybe, Prince. Maybe. Little Prince with a dragon little tattoo prince. on the. Yeah. Are we still like he's. You love him still? No. Okay. Little Prince, dude. The veil is little lifting, prince. guys. J Lo adopted this motherfucker. Was he ever cool? No. Yes. Yeah. He, I don't I, think so, but people really thought so he for a cool. long time. I, look, I, I've been to a couple parties with him. He was the cool guy who, like, everybody was enthralled in the room. So, like, I've seen him in action. He was fucking cool. He's Matt Damon's friend. No. At that, he was with him at the same two events, right? And Matt Damon was he off was to the cooler side. cooler than Matt Damon. Matt Damon then, was yeah. off to the side. Kind of just boozing to himself and super friendly smoking. Matt Damon used to rip fucking heaters, dude. I mean, in real life, holy shit. The two of them smoked more cigarettes than anybody I've ever seen in my life. And that's fine. But Damon was always off to the side. Ben Affleck loved the, like, he was holding court where you were like, oh, that's the prom king. Like, every, we were all impressed where it was just like, right. holy shit. Right. Look at him go. And it was, he was with uh, Gwyneth Paltrow at that time, too. Mm. So it was just like, fuck. That's it. That's the perfect marriage there. And they fucking own everybody. Yeah. And then she came out and, and turned out to be cool. And now he's kind of kind of dorky now, I feel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is it say, it's saying on there that she's changing her last name, right? She is now Jennifer Affleck. There we go. Wow. That's nice. So I guess she's wow. not trying to be too Latino anymore. 
No. Because that's the whitest name on earth. Yeah, it's I over. I cannot believe she's changing her last name. I can. She's 50, what now? 52? I, yeah. think, I think it's time where she's just like, I don't really care anymore. What else does she have to prove? Um, there's a doc that it's out. I haven't watched it. Have you watched it? No, but I heard it's just a commercial that she made about herself. And that's fine. It is. I'm just not interested. Right. But if you look back at her career from In Living Color to, uh, I mean, performing at the Super Bowl to the Ja Rule songs to the fucking movies, I mean, Out of Sight was a pretty goddamn good movie with, with George Clooney. Um, okay. She's done it. She's done all the things. She sure. was. She did the Super Bowl halftime show. You've done it all at this point. Now you don't really have anything left to prove. Just marry your white husband and be happy, you know? Okay. Now she's Jenny from the sack. <laughs> the cold sack. <laughs> Bob. Bob. Maybe workshop Bob. that one, dude. Bob. Jenny from so the sack. So just like throw stuff out without <laughs> fucking thinking about it My first. God, dude. Yeah. I mean, we're all from the sack just kidding. originally. Just kidding. All of a sudden, Oof. Giorgio's comments seem a lot better. Nope. Yeah. They're still fucking crazy, Giorgio. Still fucking crazy. <laughs> But good for them. I say good for them, too. I say good for them. Good for Giza. I don't know how long until Giza, the little prince, falls off the wagon. The little prince. All the way. All the way off the wagon. I want a good old-fashioned bender. A real one. I think she would be a Pelicano about it. Maybe. More than Garner. Maybe. She wouldn't fucking parade him through Jack in the Box, that's for sure. Yeah, because, look, I think that's the same thing that happened to... uh, Oh, fuck. Hey, Rod, like, like you were talking about earlier, it makes sense where it was just like, hey, dude, you got sloppy. Mm-hmm. I didn't care that you were banging other people. No, or just talking to or flirting with or right. whatever. Like, just don't have it come out on a Bravo reunion show. Like, Sure. The other beauty of that is I've always hated him. And, like, he was starting to get everywhere because uh, of her. And they he pulled the fucking all. rug on he that guy. had it all. He's and been he invisible. Just- couldn't yeah well besides his makeup line his men's makeup, makeup line, line yeah yeah, yeah and yeah. then like a f- uh, a fun flirty picture of him going down a slide on a boat other than that invisible he's really gone yeah, yeah. Th- thank god because we were seeing that motherfucker everywhere and oh i was just like god. oh please stop holding the purse i can't fucking do it anymore right. stop doing the tiktok dance with her um i got a bunch of dms about this rogan thing uh today variety did a story on it how um uh, he said to Tom Segura, when Tom Segura was on the show mm-hmm. yesterday, uh, maybe you should go and just shoot all the homeless people in Los Angeles. Okay. Um, apparently, uh, there is several of the city's unhoused advocates that are stunned and disheartened by his comments. Look, Can we've I said this a, a thousand times on this show. Can I get the sentence before the no. sentence after? Oh, okay. So literally just. Yeah. Okay. No, no you're right. Context. You're right. Yeah, Context what? Context is a tool of white supremacy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, Your privilege uh, uh. asks for context. And, and this one guy who they're referencing in this article here is, uh, says, nothing like a bunch, uh, a couple of rich white fucks sitting around smoking cigars and criticizing people at their rock bottom. And that last line, maybe you should go shoot the homeless people, was a little too much. Fuck off at this point. Um, we know how rich Rogan is. We know how rich Segura is. Mm-hmm. It's comedy. They certainly don't give a fuck. We've said way worse here, and we're not as rich. Okay, we're not there yet. Now, when I become that rich, it's going to get even worse. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm going to see worse things than the things that we've already been saying. So, right. buckle up for that someday. Uh, but yeah, just know I would have said the same shit, and we've said worse on this show. I would argue that their richness and whiteness makes it more funnier. <laughs> <laughs> what can if I they count, can I counter that? Yeah, Please. go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, so watch the new Bill Burr special. Oh, so did I. I yeah. loved it. Bob. Did you? Yes, you stole I did. a lot of your stuff, by okay. the way. Okay. Yes. Um, I was going to say, it just seems like a guy who doesn't really pay attention or is online a lot. Uh-huh. Right. And just repeating things that have already been said a million times. Exactly. Over. So That's I didn't, find, exactly it, what I didn't find it funny at all. Me well, neither. Here's the thing. A lot of it was he said on just these emerged. shows, yeah. but... Um, there was a there was a bit that he had about the WNBA that is exactly word for word what Bob says. Yes, um, only it was phrased a little differently, and sure, that one had me like, yeah, 
He said, look, it's up to the feminists at that point. There's a reason why there's only three or 400 people at WNBA games. Yeah, it's, it's, it's insane it's taken this long for anyone to say it. Like, fuck me, I don't have the audience that he has. But like, Right, we've been saying this on this show for yeah, years. Exactly. Yeah. Which is like, dude, I, I don't care that the league exists. That's fine, that's good, whatever. I, literally whatever. I would have fun at a WNBA game probably, but I'm not going to pay attention to the league. But like, it does feel like for years and years and years it's been like, women and feminists yelling at men who are sports fans to be like, you need to watch this. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, what are you doing? Yeah. And Why this idea fucking- that, that he said that like women always need men to help them with their movements. I've been saying that for fucking years. For fucking years. You've been saying, just watch the fucking thing. If you want it to stay on, like go to the games. If you want, you know yeah. what I mean? Don't just yell at guys for not watching women play sports worse. Than the dudes that they're already following. But anyway, that's a really good point, Delco. Because I was like, why do I not? I feel like it's been said before, but then I'm like, have we just said it? Or It's been said a million times. A million yeah, times. Yeah. He's older now. Yeah. He clearly isn't online. And he's just repeating like very like hacky shit. And it, he's I not listening to so here, the here's, By the yeah. way, so here's why I it's said I, I loved it. Doing Red Rocks like that. It's fucking impossible. I don't know why he would want to tackle that and you have to scream over 30,000 people and everything Look, else. Um, his pacing was impressive, but everything yes. else was not. I mean, of course you're going to get, depending on the age of the audience or if they're like him and just crawled out from the COVID rock and was like, I've got something to say. Sure. Um, unless everybody's on that same page, I think Delco's right where it's just like, I mean... <laughs> Yeah, that works. And when you say hacky, it's because you know for a fact you'll get a laugh from it because it's already been in the zeitgeist enough that it's not shocking. Like he honest. used to say shocking ass shit, and that none of that was shocking to anyone. I haven't seen the special yet, but I've been catching highlights online. Yeah, I almost and, uh, sent his bit on clip. abortion fucking killed me. Like. In a what, good way. When he was like, "Yeah, it's your body, your choice," he's like, "But I also have to believe it. Yeah, you're probably killing a baby." Oh and yeah, then yeah, he yeah, explains yeah, yeah. the yeah. logic behind yeah. it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That fucking killed me, and yeah. that was like a g- genuinely like honest answer that I've never seen anyone give. Okay. Yeah, which is okay. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do what you want, but you're killing it. Yeah, sure. Like, like both can be true, yeah. right? Like, mm-hmm. uh, hey, did you see Schultz's special, Giorgio? No, okay. Um, cause I saw his clip no, on that abortion an... that freaked out everybody and, uh, oh, okay. and so... it was, it was great. I, I showed it to you. And that was from the special that he's selling. Correct. Oh, okay. it is. Um, it is really good. And it's, uh, it's up, it's available for sale now. Uh, just, I think it launched Sunday night. It's a weird night to want to launch it, but, uh, uh, it's out and, and up in the world. I, I'll, I'll buy it. And to Everyone support. watched it like an event. That's kind of what he was going for. He wanted to make it pay-per-view esque. Oh, that's dope. Sits there together. Sure. Oh, okay. No free ads. <laughs> I, I don't care. I like Schultz. Akash has been on the show. He's I want to figure out who uh, who sold him that shirt. And uh, I hey, and I will say this. Yeah, I don't they know. They always wear the weirdest fucking shit. But here's the, the thing. I also don't know him at all. And uh, there was a question that I needed answered about YouTube from him specifically, and he got back to me in like 15 minutes. So, shit. no, he seems. I mean, he seems nice. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I don't have I don't a bad, like a literally bad word to say about him. And uh, uh, and again, Akash couldn't have been funnier when he was in the show. So, yeah, I like Schultz. I'll support for sure. He'll he'll get a free ad on here. Fucking download his shit wherever it's at. I don't care. Uh, so we got ads right now that actually pay for the show to be on the air. First and foremost, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. James, 30% off. Can you believe it? I cannot believe it. 30% off everything in the entire store with the promo code You can get bros. a bunch of shit for nothing. What can you get? You can get a bunch of stuff for nothing. Pillows. What else? Sheets. What else? Adjustable bases. And? Weighted blankets. And? Bed covers for butt stuff. Oh. Just in case you guys are oh, getting nasty. Oh, and mattresses. Nasty. Sorry. Mattresses. All of the things. If you want 40% off, you got to get that bundle package. That's the adjustable base and the uh, mattress combined together in one night. What? What, Jesse? Oh, nothing. Go. Okay. It's me. You're stabbing yourself in the eye. I know. There. It's me. All right. I'm having a hard year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. You can have an easier one if you relax in book mode on that adjustable base. It's remote control. It'll just kind of fill you up, dude. Man. So, huh? Yep. Fill you up with semen. 
Why did you say fill you I up? I don't know. I don't know, Jesse. It will lift you up. It'll lift you up and then fill you up. Too. I'll lift you up. Uh, yeah, and then, but then the semen, too. It'll put some, it'll, it'll fill you. It does all the things there at ghostbeds.com forward slash drinker bros. If you want 50% off, get the 3D Matrix mattress delivered by Lawrence Fishburne himself. He'll come to your house and he'll install it. And if he doesn't, then call Ghostbed, okay? Uh, at the bottom of the screen, you're going to see a 60 month pay as you go program. Uh, no interest if you have decent credit. Click that and then apply all those deals that I just mentioned with that. And you can walk out of there with a brand new bedroom set for about 25 bucks a month. Fun, baby. Especially when it's uh, 112 degrees outside. It's, it's the cooling mattress. Buy it. Buy the cooling pillows. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Who do we got next? Jobless? I don't know. Uh, you never do. You never do. You know? Somebody took me off the air table. Mm. Did they really? Yeah, Andrew. You don't take Andrew. you don't take Jables off the air table. Monk pack is who we got next. Oh, do you even monk? Yeah, dude. I we just got ten more boxes here. We got we all monked up today. I bet they're gone. Uh, Did you check? I when did they see, come? It's true. I have do not seen them. Do you know what now. I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is yeah, the monk pack yeah. here or did we fucking Okay. Now right. listen, we don't Did you guys have... get monked up, dude, after I left the other day? It's been monks. It's been monks. You fucking asshole. We don't have too. a lot of options for food around here. So when we are grabbing, when we are hungry, we need a little snack. Yeah. It yeah. is an easy, healthy, low sugar, Best low there is. carb, Best great there is. tasting yes. bars, yep. cookies, granola bars, Keto and friendly. nut and seed. Yep. The nut and seed are the ones that I like. I know. I know that sea salt, salt uh, caramels, the it's fucking like jam. See the ingredients. Yeah, dude. everything that's in there, you can see what it is. It's amazing. Uh, they get they get keto. If you're not keto, they get others. There's only three carbs and two sugars in every single bar. We gun through them at the studio. It's amazing. Uh, get twenty percent off uh, your first purchase of any Monk Pack product by visiting monkpack.com and enter the promo code Nooners at checkout to get started. Just go to monkpack.com. That is M U. N-K-P-A-C-K dot com and select any product and then enter the code Nooners at checkout to save 20% off your purchase. Monk Pack is so confident in their product. It's backed by a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, Jabes, we'll exchange the product or refund your money, whichever you prefer. Why are you laughing? Nico the Greco. I don't know why it made me laugh, but he said maybe Tony Shaloub took them from the sto- studio. Oh, that's Monk. great. Yeah. Monk. Nice yeah, I like he it. was monk for he years. Was mon- he was monked up, dude. He was monk. Yeah. I, I get it. No, I get it. I get the whole shaloub thing. I get it. Me Last too. but not least, go to hardafseltzer.com. Right here on the table. Boom. 8%. We deliver right to your doorstep in 41 states. Tennessee is off the board. We're live in 40, 50 stores there. Peep this map. Yeah, peep the map, dude. Blamo. Peep the map out. Blamo. Uh, for the rest of you, please order it to your house. All that money goes back into going into individual states, so that way it is regular price. If you go to Tennessee, you will notice it is the same price as White Claw or whatever fucking 4% bullshit they have. We're 8%. No carbs, no sugars, no gluten, all the fun. Peach, blue raspberry, lemon, lime, and the old strawberry shortcake are still in there. New flavors are coming out towards the end of the summer. Go to hardafseltzer.com. Get a case delivered right to your house. Or if you're in Tennessee, go into the goddamn stores and load up. Load up the cart, Ricky. Do all the things, damn it. Uh, Jabes. Yep. Jabes. Yeah. Some people say that I'm hot today. That you're hot? Yeah, I'm a little on fire today. Oh, okay. Can you feel it? Can yep. you feel it? the energy? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Luckily, it's not just me. It's not just us. So London is going through the hottest day in the history of their whole country over there. Mm-hmm. I've never been. I was joking with somebody on Drinking Bros yesterday about how many fucking degrees Celsius it was. And I was like, oh, it was 119 degrees. How hot does it typically get there and why are people freaking out? Because it doesn't get that hot It there. doesn't? What's no. the What's the max? Uh, Lord, I don't know. I mean, I was, it's pretty gloomy most of the time. The average high Mm -hmm. in July in London is 74 degrees. Oh, shit. So they're popping about 30 over average. It's 104? Yeah. 
and they're Fuck. not they don't have air prepared. conditioning prepared yeah like they oh, don't boy. need it it's usually gloomy rainy yeah. all of that yeah. there's a shit ton of fires going off right now yep fires in, not in, in london England? though it, they're saying all over all over europe why so europe there's uh, like the heat look this thing just fucking these fl- these tracks just caught on fire no shit dude <laughs> That's kind of fun. Bob, look at these fucking tracks. Yeah, just look by. at that, dude. Metal to metal. Hashtag climate change. Hashtag Greta Thunberg. 1,100 heat-related deaths. Uh, I understand it. If, if it's 30 degrees over and you're not used to that shit, yeah, you're going to fucking die. Yeah. I, b- I bitch about it here. No, that's like everywhere. Either here or Jesse just Europe. makes up stats. No, that's I not, saw it. No, she didn't. Bob, look it. it up. Don't let him fucking talk it. to me like that. Here's how hot it is. Elon Musk actually went shirtless for the first time ever. Bob, do you have a photo of, of, of Musk? It's time to Musk up here. That's oh. how hot it is that he was like, dude, I got to hit that. God, the... they did him dirty, they dude. They did. Now, this is a they desaturation fucking... technique here where uh, they go real white. They Leonardo dicaprio would hit They ass. fucked him. They fucked yeah. him, didn't they? Um, he had to... Man, there's no place private. He had to know getting off that boat. They were just waiting. I bet he doesn't look that bad. I bet you they just kind of fucked up this picture. Uh, what do you think? Pop that back up one more time. Now, if you're at home and you're watching this, put on some sunglasses. It's bright. It's a bright white there. I bet he looks like that. So but he, so This is the color some people are. Yeah, it is, Bob. Uh, not sure what you guys are all up in arms about, huh? Mm-hmm. Um, Pop that, I'm sure uh, he looks like that. And, you know, at a low angle, wet shorts, you know, I'm sure that's the way he looks. But that's doing somebody dirty. It is. It did him dirty. If he had a shirt on, if they did a little bit higher angle, if, if whatever yeah. it may be. So there was I'm, another photo of him with his shirt on earlier in this journey, wherever he's going in, in Mykonos. Yeah. It's not the And color. he looked fine. Uh, yeah. They just, they, they did him dirty on that, but. Yeah, I mean, it's the type of thing where if they shot Britney Spears that way, yep. people would be like, this is disgusting. Yeah. They're doing that to her. <laughs> yep, yep. But the it's paparazzi e- just, like, they won't give her a second. They just, like, yeah. And they don't. shaming her. We can't shame her either. I know. We had, uh, we had uh, the guys from TMZ on yesterday. Yeah, let's put him Bruce. next to that guy, though. Oh, who? Uh, Do they have a podcast? Yeah. We had, uh, we had them both on. Uh, it's uh, Hollywood Raw is the yes. name of their podcast. I'm subscribed. Uh, are you? Yeah, they were on uh, yesterday. Yeah. We, had a, we had a lovely chat with them. They were following Britney Spears during all that shit. We yes. talked about it. Yes. Uh, fun guest. Uh, what's that photo, Bob? What do we got there? Oh, we got some breaking news. What do we got? Uh, something happened at the Hoover Dam. No. Something this, blew up. Is it terrorist, terrorist re- related or no? Uh, no, it's probably so. heat related, man. Let's see it. Play it. Folks, get your video on that. There's just been an incident here. My goodness, somebody's just blown up. Holy shit. Something has just blown up. Yeah. Well, folks, get your video. Wow, something blew up at Hoover Dam. Have you ever been, Jabes? It's Hoover lovely Dam? this time of year. Where is it? Vegas. It's outside of Vegas. Nah. Yeah, that's nice. I don't like... Um, beautiful dam. Do you know what I mean? Dam. Ah, it's a beautiful dam. You want to go at least once the to Grand that dam. The Grand Canyon, I think, is the only one where I've like. Was it Canyon or Canyon? Been okay with like going there to see the beauty something. and the wonderment. Otherwise, I don't really care. Okay. Uh, I wonder if that was intentional. That that's a strange one at Hoover Dam. And if, if that's if that is that just happening right now. Yeah, breaking. Hmm. Seven minutes ago. Shit. I, who knows? Because uh, that would really... I, man, I've always wondered this. This could be total speculation, but who cares? That's what we do. It's an opinion. It's a goddamn podcast. It's an opinion, right? Mm-hmm. I've always thought if you were going to really fuck some shit up, why not fuck up the water? Fuck up well, the it's a power plant. Yeah. yeah. But wouldn't that get into that... All, yeah, all of that shit? It's, it's, yeah, that probably is a water supply for something, too. It I, is. In. You got to keep in mind... It's an old ass fucking dam, yeah. and I don't know how good they are about updating it. Damn, dude. I'm saying, <laughs> what? Damn, dude. Damn, dude. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Nice, damn, nailed it. Dude. Nailed it. Nailed it. Hoover. Let's. I, who knows what? I think it's Greta Thunberg. That's I think what? she blew it up. Maybe is that 
too much. Why would she? This is hydroelectricity. This yeah. is green energy. Is it? Yeah. Who knows, man? Dude, Toon Bear's But how crying. are they getting to the dam? Yeah. <laughs> you drive your cars. Uh, it's an inside job from the oil companies. They knew the gas was going down, so they wanted to raise energy back up again. Something just exploded. Yeah, so every, that everybody's... little explosion, Georgia? Yeah, there's that an explosion sense. in Hoover Dam. What if that's how the war, the, the war starts? Is it, you know, somebody just popped one off at Hoover Dam, and they were like, fuck you. You know? Gosh, it's such a small... It's beautiful dam. It's a explosion. big dam. Explosion. No people beautiful down there. Beautiful dam. We don't know. We don't know who's down there, Jesse. Who's behind the wall? Okay. Somebody's behind the wall there. God, yeah, God. somebody's working in those walls right now. Mm. There's levers, and they're, they're spinning wheels, things in there to make the dam work. Mm. Can, we, can we get some thoughts and prayers to Hoover Dam? The, not only the dam itself, but whoever's working in those walls back there. The wall dam workers? Yeah. Mm. The wall dam workers. Those yeah. damn wall workers. These damn wall workers. <laughs> Yeah. Let's get some uh, prayers up for those damn wall workers. Mm-hmm. Son of a bitch, man. Mm-hmm. I didn't think this day would happen, Jabes. Yeah. We're blowing up the Hoover Dam? Yeah. Fuck. I mean, ongoing investigation, right? I mean, uh, uh, develop, I, I, developing, developing story, story for sure. Terrorist attack at Hoover Dam. Calm down. Thousands of th- those damn well workers dead. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay. What's coming out? You, if you start blowing up Hoover Dam, what's next after that? What's your next thing? Um, probably Niagara. Do you go down to Prada and Marfa and blow that up? I don't know. No, I think it would go Niagara, Grand Canyon, maybe a Mount Rushmore. Mm. Oh. If you're going in, like, order. If you were going to blow, a, a blow off a face on, on Mount Rushmore, who would you do? Uh, George. In Washington? Yeah. You want to get him out of there? Yeah. I think we've moved on. I think a fun terrorist attack, like that would be a fun one where it's just like, all right, cool, man. We're just going to blow off a face of... of... Just the nose. <laughs> I want to see the whole goddamn head gone. Which, which, which face causes the most chaos? Uh, who do we it's got? Be... Who's all four again? Is it Lincoln? It, it FDR? Is... No, no, no. It's, uh, Teddy. Oh, it's Teddy. So it's okay. George, Jefferson, Lincoln... Mm. Teddy Roosevelt. Lincoln. Probably Jefferson. <laughs> Why Jefferson? To slaves. To say it. Slaves. To say it. Well, they all slaves. had slaves. Yeah. Only, no, only half. No, only, only half. half. Two out of four. All right. Lincoln freedom. So. I think Lincoln might cause the most chaos. I think so, too. I think so, too. If you blew up Lincoln, that would be a shit show. The- Everybody else has pretty much said, fuck you. They're even trying to tear down some George Washington shit in, I think, D.C. or somewhere like that right now. His mistreatment of Indians or some bullshit. Like, I, I don't mm-hmm. have time to care about any of that, obviously. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, I think if you blew up Lincoln, well, it'd also be comedy because he got blown up, you know? Didn't they just blow up that little weird monument we were talking about in Georgia? Oh, yeah, the uh, the Temple of the Dog. Uh, no? Yep. I don't mind stealing bread from the mountain. What's the name of that temple that they blew up there? The Good Samaritan, the Sam House? We were talking about it on Drinking Pros not that long ago. We were, yeah, and I don't remember the name of it. Uh, it is in Georgia. The and Georgia I, Guidestones. I, that's it. The Guidestones got blown up. Yeah. So, uh, mm. Ross, I ask. Mm-hmm. Same person? Maybe. What's, Same what's going on in this country? <laughs> Somebody's out there and they're blowing up weird monuments. What's next? Stay safe out there. If you're near a monument, stay safe out there. Yeah. Fucking. What's the name of that place again? <laughs> yeah. Georgia Guide says. Guide stones. Guide stones. It's damn t- Hoover. It's What's t- next? It's time to ask. Mm-hmm. What has Carmen San Diego been up to? Yeah. Goddamn right. right. Goddamn right. Where is Carmen Waldo? San Diego? Yeah. Where is she? St. Augustine's next. I'm going to say it. I think St. Augustine. You blow up that little castle. A little castle in St. Augustine that looks over the water. A little castle? You got to, if you're going these weird monuments, mm-hmm. you got to think small, Jabes. You're not, you're not taking down Lincoln monuments. Right. You know? Or right. memorial or whatever. You're not doing that. You're going to take down something small like a St. Augustine. You know? Mm-hmm. 
a Fort Sumter. Yes, exactly. Now we're, now we're starting to think. Now we're all starting to use our minds here. And I think we've got to be real goddamn cautious about what monuments we're visiting the rest of the summer. I know a lot of you out there have your RVs booked, your Airbnbs booked, to go see all of your favorite little tiny monuments all over America. Know there's a chance that you're going to die tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Do we need more security for the Liberty Bell? I think so. Mm-hmm. It was, it's already been cracked. What's next, Javes? Right. Blow it up. Yeah. Somebody's going to try. I'm going to get to the bottom of this Hoover Dam nonsense, though. I will not, I will not stand for that. <laughs> I took a picture there as a small boy. It was a beautiful dam. The memories I have there have, have lived with me forever. I used to carry around this little tiny uh, Hoover Dam book of just pictures of, of me and my family enjoying the dam and all the water. And, uh, and I feel like that's all been ripped away today. What a nerd. Yeah. Anything else come out so About far? the dam? About the dam? Terrorist attack. Any, any developing? I, is, developing it, is it too story? early to say that I need a fucking dam alert on my phone? Mm-hmm. We've got the Amber Alert. What's the new one? Silver. Silver, yeah. And then there's. For the old ladies. Exactly, for the old ladies. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think there's one more for. Oh, was it storms or something like that here? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Now I need a dam alert. If a mm-hmm. dam is getting blown up, Blair something. Code, a code three. Yeah, I need a, one of those German war whistles in the background mm-hmm. going off if, if a dam blows up. What do we got? Our last update 10 minutes ago just says Boulder City Fire Department is en route to emergency call. Oh, no geez. available information at this time. Come on, Boulder please. City? No. I don't know, guys. Yeah. This is real suspicious here. I know. Fuck me, dude. Wow. This is the day. What's today? July 19th. This will live in infamy. 7 19 22. Mm. It's the day the dam went down. Yeah. Mm. Se- where were you on 7 19? I was here. Right. Me too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Dude, the amount of people on Twitter <laughs> being like, yeah, the Hoover Dam just blew up. And if you, and, but like, there's no, they don't attach a video right. to it. Yeah. So they're just like, yeah, think about it. Like, they just went, the walls exploded, water going through. Yeah, it's like yep. one generator like popped off. Exactly. Like, <laughs> I, Bob, I don't think it's that at all. It really is. Planned <laughs> attack, coordinated. My first thought goes to Russia. Second thought goes to China, and that's just immediate. Uh, that that's a gut reaction, is what we call that in the biz. That's a gut reaction to the terrorist attack that just took uh, place. Anytime at there's Dam. anything that's working outside, like your air conditioning unit, your car, like I am fucking amazed. When I'm driving home in my car, I'm like, wow, mm-hmm. it's fucking crazy that this thing is running in this heat, right? <laughs> uh, anything, any kind of machinery that's outside right now, it's amazing that yeah. it's not blowing up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, everybody's talking about this right now. This is taking over everything. I assume there's going to be people who are like, it's the heat, it's global warming. It's only 101 at the Hoover Dam right now. Mm-hmm. It's hotter here. Yeah, that's an average July day in Nevada. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They I'm hang, surprised it's not hotter, to be they honest They fuck with that shit every yeah, Well, dude, then what I'm is it, Bob? It's not hotter. I don't know. It's, it's like 90 years old. All right. And the American infrastructure is just like rotting. It's probably just some old fucking transformer. Yeah. So, that's, again, going to Twitter here, if you just go to the top, uh, Christopher Green, I don't know who this is. His at right. AMTV Media. I'll give him a free plug. He says, breaking possible terrorism oh. or malfunction at Hoover Dam. Mm, nice. <laughs> I this like is where the we're splash. at. I like the splashy this headline. This is where we're at. Okay? Splashy headline. Ter- change the name of this episode. Terrorist attack at Hoover Dam. Or, and then, or. Breaking. Or. Just a malfunction. malfunction. Just a malfunction. <laughs> yeah. But like very small. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it, dude. Mm. My sweet, sweet dam. Ugh. When was the dam built originally? Since it's done now and it exploded and we, we don't have it anymore. Um, it's a, I don't know if any a, of that's true. It was an FD. It was a, it was a Great Depression project I, named after Herbert Hoover. Mm. Uh, I'm going to put an Altoid in my mouth and ponder this. Mm. You don't say. It was construction was started in 1931, opened 
or whatever in during the during the Great Depression. They started uh, oh. uh, Hoover Dam, huh? Wow, mm. I didn't know that. Mm. Named after uh, Edgar Hoover, I'm assuming. Herbert. Yep, him too. <laughs> yeah, him too. Means a lot to me. Oh God, the history there. You know the richness of it. But right. now it's all blown up. Right. It's, it's all, all gone. gone. It's all gone. Seven nineteen. You saw the video. Yeah, it's <laughs> You've seen literally the video. all gone. <laughs> Man, look it up, guys. It's uh, it's a terrorist attack. I don't know who the terrorists are. Mm-hmm. I don't. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't have. Uh, a lot of people are speculating right now. Um, I'll. I. It's probably the Taliban. Right. It's probably the Taliban. No, the Shyamalan twist is that we are all the terrorists. Mm. Ooh. We That's cause nice. this. That's nice. Um, but yeah, everybody's uh, sharing the same video as if it was theirs too, and I like that. Mm-hmm. I like when it's that now everybody's in on the magic, and they were there. You know, mm-hmm. where were you on seven nineteen? I was in a Hoover Dam terrorist attack. I've got the video. They just silence that girl's voice <laughs> and act like it's theirs. <laughs> just Something did a voiceover just of it. Blew up, guys. Yeah, yeah. We could do it for anybody. Sure. Put Morgan Freeman's voice over it. We can do whatever we want. Yeah. Oh, there's an explosion. Explosion of the Hoover Dam. And, oh, my God, Morgan was there. Right. Did they save him? No, he's, something happened to his arm. He's fucking dead, too. He's dead. Now, the other side of it. Sure. What are they trying to distract us from? I know. What, what's going to happen? 719, Jabes. 719. Okay. Now, no, we got some updates here, all right? And I need you to stay on the beat with me on this one. Mm. We're, we're live during the Hoover Dam terrorist attack right now. We're the only ones that are live and that care. We're the only ones on the scene. And by on the scene, I mean I'm on Twitter, just like everybody else. But it was a two gigawatt generator. Um, The capacity, it had the capacity for two gigawatts, which means nothing to me whatsoever, other than I think I've heard that phrase in Back to the Future. Uh, we're going to stay on this story, though, nonstop, Jay. Sounds case closed. Mm, does it? not. Is it generator? They say they don't know what it is. No. Circumstances unclear, according to uh, Sanjir Habib. Okay? I know a lot of people follow him on Twitter, and I want to give him the respect that he deserves. But uh, it's unclear. Uh, somebody else, astonishing blowback, great username, is saying climate change blows up Hoover Dam. Hmm. Fuck me, dude. Mm-hmm. Terrorism. Mm-hmm. Terrorism. Mm-hmm. Border's been open for too long. Too many people got across. So many people want to blow up Hoover Dam. You know how many sketches I've seen at restaurants? You ever, you ever watch somebody eating by themselves and you're like, why the fuck are you in this restaurant all by yourself? And they're usually sketching something. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing every time. Right. It's a sketch of, of Hoover Dam exploding. You know? Mm-hmm. A lot of people want in on that. The claim to fame on that? Hey, what'd you do in this life, Jesse? Mm. Like, what was what? What would be your biggest claim to fame? What would you say that you did in this life? Uh, if you had to choose just one thing to go on your tombstone, one thing mm-hmm. to go on my tombstone. Yeah. What are you most proud of in this life? One of my kids. Okay. Which one? Probably Jax. Okay. <laughs> the oldest. Okay. Cool. Now, some... also mother to the other ones. The other ones, sure. Mm-hmm. So now. Flip it. Whoever mm. did this, hey, I blew up Hoover Dam. Yeah. Big difference, right? Mm-hmm. You gave birth. No big deal. No one cares about that yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. Everyone does it. Yes, everyone does it. Not everybody's blowing up Hoover Dam. True. So if we have any boots on the ground out there in Nevada at Hoover Dam, take a, 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 a look out there. Pop on over to Hoover Dam and, and get us some info. Uh, I think we'll probably continue this live for the next four to, to eight hours. Are you yeah. good with that, Jabes? Yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, this video is around the world here. Yeah. It is. Oh, the explosion. Uh, Bob, can we show that explosion that one more time? There's a terrorist attack. Video. It, Jesse, if people are just joining us, there's been a terrorist attack mm, yeah. at Hoover Possible. Dam. Possible. Also, uh, maybe a malfunction. Possi- but more. Possibility of thousands dead. We don't know. Possibility of a lot of different things, one of which m- maybe is terrorism. Stock up on drinking water if you're in the Nevada area. I don't, you're not going to be able to drink out of the dam today. I know a lot of families do that. They take, they take their clothes down there, and they wash them, and then they have some drinks out of the water. 
Just stock up on drinking. You're probably not going to be able to do that today. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't do it. Uh, Bob, hit me with that explosion one more time for the audience here. Again, we're covering this live. Terrorist attack at Hoover Dam. Or a malfunction. Nope. No, that's, uh, that is a large plume of smoke there. It really where were is. you? Yeah, where were you, James? Yeah. 719. Yeah, uh, here. Who, who's going to sing this song? Because obviously we're going to do a special on the new. Like, it's going to be on the news. We're going to do a, a fundraiser for it. Um, I think Adele should sing the Hoover Dam song. What about a Joan Osborne? <laughs> oh, I would love what that. What if? Yeah. Right? What if Hoover was one, one of us? us? Yeah, that would be a fun... Just a damn like, like one, one of, of us. us. Yeah, yeah. And water comes pouring over her on stage at the, mm-hmm. at the sing-along. Mm-hmm. And everybody, oh, mm-hmm. hands out. Everybody's got a little metal bucket. Oh, give me yep. some of the yep. damn water. Yep. <sighs> Boy. Trying to make his way home. home. Damn it, man. We're going to keep an eye on this. All right? I want you to know we're locked in. To the terrorist attack at the Hoover Dam. I'm not going to rest tonight at all until I get to the bottom of this. Rest assured. Okay? You'll probably get it. You can soon. rest. I will stay up all night. I don't You'll think we're going to get this soon. get the answer soon. Uh, How could you even sleep? I probably can't. FBI <laughs> right. is, is uh, on the scene uh, right now. Uh, they've got another angle of this. Oh, boy. That's a massive explosion. That's a massive explosion. What did you say? 48 people dead? Is that what you said, Georgia? Or did you just make that up? No. Uh, there could be up to 48 people dead, yeah. Okay. Some t- somewhere between zero and 48. Okay. Uh, zero to 48 people dead yeah, in this explosion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Unconfirmed oh. yet. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. That looks like just a, yeah. just all mechanics down there. Mechanical. Uh, not mechanics. Not like Breaking news. So the fire, the fire has been put out at Hoover Dam. Okay. okay. Um, fire was extinguished. Before the Boulder City Fire Department arrived on the scene. Okay. Well, thanks, guys. Yeah. Um, so that's out. Mm-hmm. I think that's out now. But, uh, yeah, I mean, look, even the sun, the U.S. sun is saying Hoover Dam explosion captured in terrifying video mm-hmm. in Nevada mm-hmm. by these tourists. Whoever took that video, you're brave. Yeah. You All right, I want you to really know that. You really close. Yeah. Yeah. You were really close. You were really close to, to where the terrorist attack occurred, mm-hmm. and uh, our thoughts and prayers are with you. And thank you for uploading it to, to Twitter immediately and Look, not the, calling authorities. Yeah, that, that person got out their phone, mm-hmm. opened TikTok, started recording, and said, let's roll. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. S- they saw something. They said something. <laughs> oh, also, uh, another little fun news story for you, Ross. What's up? Uh, it appears... AOC either got arrested or is pretending to be arrested in front of the Supreme Court. Great. Is that now? Yeah. We got a fun little pic of that? 16 yeah. minutes ago. We got a video. Oh, even better. Pop that up. We are live today. We are covering terrorist attacks. We are covering congressmen getting arrested. Uh, let's see this. We got footage of her getting arrested? No shit. Some protesting shit, right? No. Uh, I think she punched out four babies. Live babies. And said, imagine if we had killed them, you know? First one, so she, so she's a senator or what? She's a House member, yeah. House leader? Next, yeah. you No, she's a member of the House. Member of the House. She's loving it. Look at her yeah. little smirk. Wow. She loves it. This she is great is press for her. She's loving gonna, it. I think there's a, a re-election for her in November. She's the queen of it, dude. Man. To be fair, we can't rule out that the Hoover Dam didn't do it for attention either. That's true. Fair. That's true. Is the Hoover Dam up for re-election in November? We gotta find I mean, out. But, you know, no one's been talking about the Hoover Dam. We need to no. look into like their insurance policies and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then this this is just a fun story that I, w- I wanted to save uh, today. Um, Bob, if you'll indulge me and go to uh, TMZ. It's a great one. Uh, This is a a Sesame Street uh, character Mm -hmm. who is, uh, well, it appears like it's it's beating a black child. Okay. And now there's video to it and we want to show it to you, obviously. But uh, this is, uh, this is super weird. And it made me smile. I'm not certain what would possess somebody to push a child down like this, but this is completely unacceptable. I'm not certain what would possess somebody to push a child down like this, but this is completely unacceptable. I, it was an accident. I, 
Jesse, was it? Yeah. Was it? Or did that child know who blew up the Hoover Dam? Ask yourself that. Okay? That's where we are, though, with the video cameras and all this shit. Everything we've just talked about in the last half hour is just this and then putting your own narrative to it. Mm -hmm. Hoover Dam, terrorist mm -hmm. explosion. Right. Terrorist attack at Hoover Dam. Yep. Still mm -hmm. don't have a lot of info. Uh, close to, what are they saying, 58,000 dead or zero. And so it's either zero dead or 58,000. We don't know yet. All right? I, I don't want to speculate. So it's zero or 58,000 dead, right? Phone, boom, that goes around the world. AOC, boom, she gets arrested, smiling, smirking oh. like a motherfucker for the cameras around the world. Mm. This, oh my God, this Sesame Street character pushed over a black child. Right. It's all over. Right. It looked like an accident to me. Now, what, whatever the fuck this character, what's the name of this character, Bob? We got a name on this, this uh, purple thing? <laughs> Who the fuck? No, it's definitely a new one. Like, it's not... It's not one of the classic ones. Uh, <laughs> Rosita. 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 So that's not racist, right? That is a Latino. It's what? a Latinx. They're different. I don't even know. A Latinx uh, Sesame Street character that's pushing over a black child. Can be racist because they are different races. Yeah. Oh, there's. is there more videos over here? Yeah, so there's Bert not high-fiving a black girl. All right, let's see that one. Show that on screen. Just skip the black shit. Yeah, yeah, show one more time, please. I get to see this. Uh, just back that up. There we go. Ah, uh, uh, blatant racism. Blatant racism. Okay, okay. Blatant racism. All right. Uh, well, <laughs> or actually, I'm sorry. I'm this was, it wasn't the first one. It was right <laughs> here. So oh, she, he does just skip her. Who, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he just kind of goes down the line. Right. All right. Here's another one, J Jesse. I want you to watch this carefully. There you go. Uh, play it, Bob. There we go. Boom, boom. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Nope. Fuck you. Fuck oh, you. Oh, dang. Wow. Wow. Did Sesame Street Workshop, did they make an apology for that? Have they released that an apology was, yet? Has the Klan infiltrated Sesame Street? That's, I that think that's bad. only fair to ask. How many Klan members are, are working in, as Sesame Street characters now? Fair question. It'd be a good cover. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. feels a little naive to assume that no clan members work at Sesame Street. None. <laughs> you're telling me none. None. Yeah. And where is this that they're at? Uh, it, it, Pennsylvania. 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 Yeah. Sesame, Sesame Boulevard. All of these happened in Pennsylvania? No, no. No, but Sesame Place is in Pennsylvania. No, yeah, I get. Oh. Yeah, they all happen there. All of those happen there. Okay. Yeah, Jabes. I'm. I'm sorry. If we had to confront terrorist attacks today, racism, I'm sorry if that makes you uncomfortable. But sometimes you need to be uncomfortable. All right? I'm not. All right? It seems like you are. All right? We're, we're, we're fucking covering shit today. You're covering terrorist attacks today. And then this, this blatant racism by these yep. people in these huge costumes who probably can't see that well and uh, yeah. may or may not have given high fives to people. We don't know. Sure. Sure. We don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, the The last one I want to talk about is uh, there was a leaked memo by Disney. This ties together with this, obviously, Bob. Uh, a leaked memo by Disney of what you can do inside the costumes the characters can do. Mm -hmm. Apparently, there's a whole laundry list full of rules that you can you can and can't do. Always has been at Sesame Street oh. or not. A, I'm, I'm sorry, at Disney. At Disney. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But but uh, the rules have never really been leaked like this before of what you're able you to run do. Run a tight ship. Really tight ship. Um, and it's Oh, so what you're able to do while you're in costume. Right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And it's pretty fucking wild, dude. Yeah, but it's always been like this. Like I've had a bunch of friends. I tried out to be a, a character at Disney yeah, World. Yeah, you did which character? Like who do you think? Goofy? No, Gustav. Uh, <laughs> what? Gaston? Gaston. I don't know who that is. Gaston. Fuck? Gaston. He says, it like, he says it like Delco. I don't know who Gaston From, is. From um, Belle. You Beauty know, the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Oh, Beauty and the Beast. Okay. Gaston. Uh, all right. All right. All right. Yeah, I mean a human version. Yeah, this there it is. Y yeah. yeah. Oh, one fucks like Gaston. I think that's in the yeah. song. Okay. Yeah. So and you, so you, he's saying that. Rehearsed. They said no thank you. Yeah, yeah they said no yeah. thank you. So you can't. Yeah. No, not at all. Uh, but you can't. Talk to the people. Like, that's a no-go. You can't even say one word. I would assume. 
to anybody I'm going to see if you're going to tell me one that I would Pop it up, not Bob. Read, read, read aloud the nine rules in that thing. Like, I'm still I, trying to find it. I assume that if you are playing a character, beloved characters, uh, at Disneyland Disney World for children, children's memories slash trauma, I'm guessing there is a code of conduct, right? Like, that's not strange. Sure. Okay, so I got it. I, okay. I, I got it, Bob. Don't, okay. don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Bob. You're, All I did was type in Disney worry, character rules. No big deal. Don't worry about your job. All right, number 25, cause we're, and we'll breeze through it, I promise you, okay? They can't have visible tattoos. Yeah. yeah. All right. What do you, this isn't new. That's from 2019. I, this, I thought you said this leaked like recently. It, I'm obviously skipping over ones that are three years old. It did. So like the, the new version of this got a little fucking crazier, I guess, um, with it. So mm-hmm. now you can't do any of the fucking things. Uh, they've got to have a unique name. What the fuck does that mean? Star? Mm-hmm. You, are you star child? You have to have a unique name? Yeah. Everybody's got to be on a first name basis with each other, and it's got to be unique. So you can't oh, okay. have a bunch so, of yeah. Daves running around. Right, right, right. That makes sense. So you would be like Dave B. Yeah. Or staying in character. You got to stay in character the whole time. You can't break. I would, I would absolutely assume that yep, you would have you're to in, do that. Your own property. You got to yep. Daniel Day Lewis the whole shit. Same with Universal too. I don't think really? you're in the tunnels. I think when you're like in the tunnels or in those little like closets that they peek into. No. Go back like. For lunch break? When you, you go home, you have to stay in character. Oh, stop. Now you're lying. There's okay, somebody go. that comes and wakes up Sleeping Beauty every day. Okay, there's 25. Let's go. You can't eat on the job. Uh, Yeah, that makes sense. Why? You can't be just walking around, like, in your costume, chomping a fucking hot dog. What? Imagine, imagine they do have to, like, actually stay in character in the clubhouse. <laughs> and they're, they're like in a fucking argument with each other. Like, fuck you, Mickey. No, yeah. fuck you, Mickey. Yeah. 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 That'd be really fun. I, w- I do like imagining that. I but... did too. I did too. Uh, they aren't allowed to say, I don't know. Oh, that's fun. Where's the bathroom? I don't know. So you just make it up. I'm sure they have the same rule at the Cheesecake Factory. Like, if you can't, if you're a host of anything anywhere, you have to be like, agreeable helpful you can't say i don't know kid later like obviously so you're i i was lied to by a character where where a bathroom was at one of these places probably because they they couldn't say i don't know and that i lost my parents for maybe 30 seconds and it, it like that did something you know i characters i'm must sorry learn. but you we all know that you were too poor to go as a kid. That's true. Okay. Uh, next up, characters must learn their autograph. So that's fun. If you're Cinderella, yes. you got to have a fun, flirty Cinderella autograph. Love that. Makes sense. All of it makes sense. You yeah, are your I mean, franchise. I mean, what you're holding in your hands is they an have institution. They an entire part of Disney World where like, they sell autograph books. So the kids go around and get yes. autographs from each character. Yes. Oh, so, like, really? I didn't know that. thing at Disney. I didn't know yes, that. Yeah. You I've never gotten an autograph from You've him. never been. I've You're been. You're fucking poor as shit. I went dude. as a child. And no, we had you a fun didn't. Don't experience. lie. I went to Disney World. You yes, never went. And then I went on a field trip. I went to Epcot Center. That was fun as well. It's the only two times I've been. Um, they can't blab about their role. That math doesn't add up. Yeah, you've Disney never been. Disney World wasn't open during your show. <laughs> it was. never been. It was open. It was wide open. I stayed in that place where the fucking kid ate the alligator. Or the alligator ate the kid. You went in your 20s. No, I did not. I was a child. I was a small boy. Very tiny. <laughs> Go. Very tiny. Go. There's a lot of these. Body piercings are off me. limits. What if you get your clit pierced? I don't understand that. Who's going to find out? Or do well, they do a full body check? It can't be visible. No. Body piercings are off limits. Oh, shit. Dan is saying metal detector. That makes sense. There you go. Oh, yes. Yeah, if you okay. got a Prince Albert, they're going to put that wand over your cock. All right. What about a C-3PO? We all know where that is, we right, sure guys? We sure do. That's the taint in the asshole. It's for you guys to know. Yeah. I like it's to say things asshole. like that, and then you can make up in your mind what it is and where it's, where sure. it's located. Sure. Uh, nothing exists outside of Disney. So okay, they've got to pretend. Okay, it's a chain from your taint to your armpit. It is. That's what a C-3PO is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, same shit with Universal, though. You work at Harry Potter World, you have to act like you live in Harry Potter's world. All of this, this is, is fine. All... Carry on. It is not fine. Yes, dude. it is. It is not. Yes, it is. When you leave the job, you've got to pretend you're in Disney World. 
That's You've got to live it. it. You've got to live it. What it you, is. Yeah, I love this. They're like, you know, like uh, actor slaves, essentially. Like yes. they're, you're paying for the experience here. Yeah. By the way, the people that they <laughs> hire, it's usually like some like super theater kid. Oh, yeah. They're uh, yeah. into all of this. And you guys. have to pay like, for your uniforms and shit. It's Great. Yes, they're they're loving this. And here's the other part. Costumes have to stay in the park, so you can't take it out of the park. You can't take it home and have a fun night with it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they all have to travel underground, so you can't yes. see them above ground. That is slavery. This is, I mean, this is some good old, this is what Harriet Tubman did. Yeah. And now, they, like, now they're, they've got to go underground. That's fucked up, man. This is why you're not allowed to take the costumes home. Do you know what I mean? Oh, God. That's Mizzou's mascot. <laughs> yeah, but that all tracks. Like, that all. Oh, that's that, that does That does nothing for the image. Yeah. It's, like, right on time. Yeah. Uh, there's height requirements. Uh, yes. 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 You've got to be this tall to be in one of the, yes. the costumes or yes. the characters. Yes. That's great. That's great. Tinkerbell must be petite because she is a tiny fairy. I wonder if they weigh her like a jockey. You know, she comes mm -hmm. in over 110. Mm -hmm. Back of the line, fatty. Maybe. Dude. Hit the maybe, treadmill. Maybe. Can't go out and face the kids at 112. Let's get the weight down. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also rules of etiquette. I'm fine with that. Uh, they must look the part. Now, this is important. So they only hire people that look like the actual people. Mm -hmm. They don't do any fun, flirty stuff to them. You got to look like the people there. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are complaining that they're all white. All right. What? No, no. Uh, no crazy nails allowed. You can't have fun, flirty, crazy nails or spiky nails and things like that. I understand it. It's going to take you out of the character. Uh -huh. I don't want to see Snow White running around with huge acrylics on, you know? Right. Don't well, want to see that it. That makes sense. Uh, they can't fangirl. So this is involving celebrities. Right. You can't take a – if you take one selfie with a celebrity, you're fired immediately. No That's questions fine. asked. That's fine. You know who also had that in their job description? Who? Uh, for their personal assistant. Who was it, Brian Grazier? No, Aubrey Marcus. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so you can't fangirl you over – You can't fangirl over him? No. Him and his friends, yeah. Oh, over him and his friends? That's weird. He should have hired me because no problemo. <laughs> I like here, they, they've got a shot of Goofy with Katy Perry. So Katy Perry must have asked for the photo. Yes. No. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. I think that's the way they want it to be. Eyewear is a part of the dress code. I didn't know that. Fun, flirty eyewear. If um, the character calls for it. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. the character yeah. calls for it, you got to wear the fucking glassware, Holmes. Yeah, I, I don't know why they had to put that in there. Well... Let's say you it have perfect have, vision, under, that would ruin it. It could fall under the umbrella of, of dressing the part. Now, this right. one I love. They talk in code. That's fun. All the people that work there talk in code. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Now, this one I'm, I'm starting to get into. Um, so they have a code. Uh, insert letter here for the other employees for situations. Some of these, these codes include code V for when a guest has vomited. Ooh, we got nice, a code V. Nice. A little on the nose, but a little on the nose. Signal 25 is when a fire is broken out, much like that Hoover Dam mm -hmm. uh, terrorist attack today mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, that everybody's talking about. Sure. That's not as on the nose as when I worked at Lifetime and we had somebody shit in the pool. It was Code Brown. Was it really? <laughs> okay. Code Brown. Wow. Wow. Shit in the pool. How do you shit in a pool as an adult? Because they don't. Oh, they let children in There's there? There's children in yeah. Lifetime? There's a bunch of children in Lifetime. Gross. They, have a, they have an entire, uh, like, child center. Ugh. Uh, not going there. Yeah. All done with that. Thought it was adults only. Exactly. Uh, social media posts are a no-no. I think that's, a, that's an obvious mm -hmm. one, right? Mm -hmm. uh, this, this is fun, though. You can't point. I don't like to be pointed at. So, like, you can't, you can't give a... I think you have to, like, flat hand it. You have to knife hand it? No. Like okay. a... Oh, a flat hand. Okay, no. like you're serving dinner rolls. No, like over here. Or yeah, like this you're serving way. dinner yeah. rolls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smell the garlic rolls. You can't be like over there. Yeah. Yeah. Over there, loser. Yeah. Get over there, fat boy. You can't do that. You no. Can't point at people. All mm -hmm. right. Uh, the parks are stages, 
And work is a show. It is. And I, and I fully believe in that. It's a show. And boy, do they. It's a performance. I mean, they really hire the most perfect people They for that. give it their all day in and day out. All right? When I was there, beyond impressed with the performances there. Mm-hmm. They really, they, they, they left it all there. Uh, they were required to pick up garbage, even the princesses. And that's a weird one. I wouldn't, I would, say, I would say no to the princesses. That feels like a little bit like breaking character, right? It does. She would not. Princess would mm-mm, never pick up mm-mm, garbage. Mm-mm. She's too good for that. Right. Gross. Uh, and then the last one is you can't bend down. So you got to kneel. <laughs> you want to pick up garbage? <laughs> yeah, I don't think you'd want to see one of those characters <laughs> just just a straight oh, leg bend over. Um, That's great. That's fucking great. Now dude. Walt Disney. He's dead. The poon hound. Yep, dead. His, fr- his head is, is frozen he an, somewhere. Was he a Nazi? Uh, Bob? Or a Jew? Do you guys ever cover that on Softcore History? Is he, uh, was he a Nazi? Was he a Nazi? Was he a Nazi? Disney Walt just Disney? didn't fuck with the Jews. Okay, so I don't Nazi. I think that made him a Nazi. No, he was more like Henry Ford. More like Henry Ford? Okay. All right. Yeah. Fascist, not Nazi. Oh, okay. okay and that's it. how he runs the park. That's and that's it why it's like a beautiful, you know, parallel universe utopia. Sure. Okay? Sure. And the way that you get that to happen mm-hmm. is rules like this. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. I agree. Because you want it to be a fantasy. <sighs> I want the fairy tale every time, yeah. you know? Yeah. Damn it, man. There's a lot goes in to make the fairy tale happen. Yeah, it sure does. Same can't, with this can't show. Can't do it. Same with life. this show. Yeah, man, banger of an episode, guys. Sorry we got interrupted by the terrorist attack at the Hoover Dam. Glad we could cover it for you again. To recap, uh, there's either fifty-eight thousand people or dead or zero, and we don't yep. really know uh, which number that is yet. Uh, also, the dam, because uh, all of you guys are writing in here, we're getting flooded with it. Pun intended. Uh, Hoover Dam is ninety-one years old. Oh my gosh, ninety-one years. Probably old. some type of malfunction. Right. Beautiful structure. Probably some type of malfunction. Beautiful. There, uh, a source is now saying a transformer exploded. So was it a Decepticon that got in there with this? Okay. All right. Yeah. So now we have the facts. A Decepticon transformer blew up the Hoover Dam in a terrorist attack today. 58,000 or zero people dead. Uh, nothing is confirmed on this. And we have no sources or uh, should not be treated as a reliable source or, or, or even people who know anything about the dam whatsoever, other than the age of it. It is 91 years old. All right? right. And we appreciate you being here today. Hard times call for hard men. And uh, Jesse Wiseman, I'm going to say you're a hard man today. Thank you. You can got I, us um, through it. Can I show a little uh, trailer of the crime show that's yeah. dropping Do you have it? Dropping this evening. Damn it. Why didn't you tell on me before a, the show? On, we would have hyped it tonight. On Patreon. Fuck. You don't just hide something like that from us. It might have been finished in the middle of the show, but anyway. Oh, gonna, 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 gonna. <laughs> Anyways, it's Patreon. Patreon, it's Drinking fun. Bros podcast. All of our shows are on there. Jesse's got a new crime corner show that's dropping on there. Yeah, like I said, we're going to try it. I've got three episodes. We're going to try it out. If yeah. you like it, I'll do some more. If not, have fun with those, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, but here's a little taste of the dumb nonsense that happens there. Okay. Welcome to our crime corner. Authorities are desperately searching for a killer accused of going on a rampage. You're a white female in America. Of course you like of true crime. Of course I do. Why does anyone go to Yosemite at this point? Why does anybody go to any national any park? Any national park. Do you, do you park. realize how many people go missing in national parks? Oh my God. The search for a possible serial killer. I'm intrigued with this case because he is the only person to be tried three times for his life. Unfortunately, and I hate to say this, but I'm going to say it right now. He was my type. <laughs> he was a good-looking guy. He was a good-looking guy. I, I he was a mustachioed, yeah. blonde, six-six, mm. little bit of meat on the bones. You could something to grab onto when you're falling off the bed. <laughs> so, an urgent manhunt for a man authorities believe is behind a triple killing spree. And he was trying to get his caretaker to help him purchase a four-year-old child for five hundred dollars. I bet you party with him though. 
<laughs> I mean, I could, I could choose worse ways. The fact to that he bought a motorcycle is cool. And I hope he was boozing, right? Yeah, so smoking, just like... drinking, jacking, jerking, <laughs> motorcycle boom. <laughs> Police here speculating that a possible serial killer may have struck again. Was Are he they... in uniform at the time? No. Oh, okay. That would have been enough. Yeah, for, that would have taken over that the top for you. That would have put me over the edge right there. <laughs> <laughs> You would have raped him. <laughs> um, One of their heads was almost chopped off. The officer recalled the unmistakable odor of death. What happened to our detectives? Jesus, you drunk little dick. Um, so they, <laughs> they, um, you know, case closed. <laughs> Just yes. the license crime corner. Yes, just James. A little, just a little taste. We would have played that at taste. the top. Well, I'm shortening it down. I'm gonna. Did it just? Did you just get it right now during the show? You can admit it. I got. I got it. <laughs> yesterday <laughs> notes. I have an Instagram version. Anyways, we're gonna have three weeks to hype this. You know, it's Patreon. How, how if long you're is there, that? How long is that clip? It's definitely. It's longer. What? Is it longer than a minute. Yeah. I'll put it on my fucking It's a buck 49. It's a buck 49, but I have a minute version. Great. Uh, oh, um, no, I think they'll let us do it now. They don't give a shit, right? Didn't Instagram change from videos to Yeah, it should be fine. And TikTok is like three bullshit. minutes. Yeah. So, yeah, it should be fine. Yeah. Okay. But anyways, Tuesdays. Drinking Bros Podcast Patreon. Subscribe. And when's the first episode dropping tomorrow night? Tonight. Tonight? What time? Eight. Eight. Eastern? Eastern Standard Time. Look, it's fun and flirty. I it don't is. Know. It's Patreon. I, I like how you guys just talked about killings in, in national parks, and we're Hoover. You know, you're surprised by Hoover Dam. A that terrorist a national- attack happened. Yes, it's a national park. Oh, okay. People drive for thousands of miles to go see the dam. Ninety-one years old. Yeah. It has exploded. Fifty-eight thousand dead or zero. Or zero dead. We don't. We don't know. Not really sure. We don't know. Anyways, first episode tonight on Tim Hennis, uh, military connection there, and the only man to be tried three times. Three times for his life. Yeah. Yeah. To the only man to challenge that fun uh, Ashley Judd vehicle, Double Jeopardy. Oh yeah! Fuck. It was yeah. a great movie. Yeah. It was a great movie. Well, I'm looking forward to that. Thanks. Tonight on Patreon, 8 o'clock. Yeah, have some fun, guys. Have some fun. Have some laughs. Have some drinks. Throw it on. Throw it on. Do whatever you want to do tonight. Uh, and if your loved ones are anywhere near Hoover Dam, obviously thoughts and prayers. We're throwing those up. Yeah. A lot of prayer Possible hand emojis. Possible terrorist. Possible. Yeah. Probable, Probable terrorist attack uh, by a Decepticon transformer that exploded. Suicide. It's a suicide transformer. You know, just blew himself up right there. We the better dam. go. We got to get out go. of here. Yeah. Uh, we will be live at 2 p.m. Central on Drinking Bros. Should be pretty close to sharp on that one. Huge guest. I'm not going to say who it is because if they cancel, then, well, we look like assholes. Uh, but it'll be well worth it. I can promise you that. It's a big one. I'm excited about it. Go to iTunes. Rate the show a five star and leave a quick review. Also go to Spotify. It's just a five star. And then you can, you can run away. You can leave this earth forever, okay? For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. the Jables, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Revolucion. Oh, buenos tardes, Juan. Good afternoon.